It is time for another X Factor Choice Pack, boys. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf back again, and welcome back to Monopoly Hut episode number 10. We have hit double digits, and today's gonna be another good episode. We have an X Factor Choice Pack. We gotta roll the dice, we gotta play some games, so let's get right into it, boys. So, first things first, we have our monthly X Factor ready to go. So, this is gonna be 20 gold players, which we do have. We have a ton of just like low rated gold players in our collection from opening up all these packs, so that is absolutely huge. It is time to see who we can get from here. All right, so looking at our unopened packs. We have five choices again, man. We got McKinnon last time. What would be ideal here is what you're asking. We get Seth Jones that just opened right away for some reason. Uh, what would be ideal? Um, Crosby, Matthews, uh, Kucherov, Ovi, any of those guys would be great. Second item, Petra Angelo. So 274 is ain't the greatest. Matt Barzell isn't too bad. Uh, let's go with the last one here. Artemi Panarin, which we already have. So I was, like, I was gonna get hyped for no reason. And Victor Hedman. Okay, so we're looking at, it's not gonna be Panarin. This 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 hasn't been the greatest. We have Seth Jones, which we were close to making him an 86 there. It's either Barzell or Hedman. And right now, I'm, I'm leaning towards Victor Hedman, who we can get up to an 88 once he scores some goals. I feel like our offense is pretty good, so. Um, I think we have Victor Hedman's base card too, if I'm not mistaken. So we do have Hedman's base card. I just went back and watched a previous episode. Jones, it makes no sense. Barzell would be nice, but at the same time, like I said, I, I don't think we need, I don't think we really need um, more forwards. Defenseman would be good. It'd be good to get Hedman just because we can get him up to an 88 as of now. Uh, again, once he starts scoring goals. Ah oh, man, this is a tough one. Like Petro Angel is not a bad shot either. He's only at an 85 right now. It's a decent looking card, but Matt Barzell looks amazing too, man. I uh I might go Matty Barzell just because we have Hedman's 84 already. I don't know what the play is here, boys. Actually, it makes sense to go Hedman because we already have his base card, so we can upgrade him to an 85 and then from there. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go with Victor Hedman. Um and you know what? I think we're going to upgrade him to an 85 because we already have his base card. We've been using him already. We might as well just get him up to an 85 now. So we're going to quickly do that. I think that makes the most sense. There's no reason to wait for goals. Once he gets to his, his 85, that's when we start upgrading him by the amount of goals he scores. I think that's fair to do. So let's upgrade him quickly. So there we go, boys. We're going to have him up to an 85 now with his base. That is beautiful. So we get a plus one upgrade to Hedman. Again, like I said, once he scores three goals, man, get him up to an 86 an 87 and then an 88 so that's going to be great to see um the defense is looking so good man I'm, I'm i'm actually very happy with that so now with that being said uh it's time to roll the dice okay so last time we left off we left off on pink slips so let's see what we can get here rolling for the first time this episode and we get a four all right so four is chance um let me go get the envelope we got the chance envelope here hand in hopefully it's not too loud on the mic got a paper so the envelope to the side, paper in my hand here. We're going to look at it together. Open a special pack. Don't mind if I do. So we got a lot of good special packs out here in the store. Uh, we're going to go to a random number generator. We have what, four, seven packs out in the store right now. So uh, let's hope for that lucky number five, maybe. All right, one to seven here. We're going to generate it here on my phone. And we get a four. Okay, okay. So four is week two fantasy hockey evil prospect pack. 12 items, including a fantasy hockey prospect player item from November 12th to November 19th and five guaranteed gold players. So let's see what our fantasy player is. This could be very good or very bad for us, depending on how this player does here. So let's see, Jay Beagle, uh, Washington Capitals jersey, Rich Kloon, uh, Lucas Raymond. That's not too bad, man. Uh, hopefully he starts scoring for the, uh, for the Red Wings. Um, that could be a very good card. So we'll take a Lucas Raymond there. Uh, probably won't make the team right now, but in the long run, that might be very good for our team. Uh, Victor Rask, rough, and that's about it. But a a uh, a hockey Evo, fantasy hockey Evo, Lucas Raymond. We will definitely take that. Nevertheless, we are in bronze ranking. It's time to play some games. This is the last day before Rivals ends. The day I'm recording it. So if we can get up to silver. Get a jumbo premium players pack and a prime pack. I don't know if gold is going to be obtainable, but silver definitely could be. Uh, let's head into a game. Try out Hedman for the first time. Try to upgrade our McKinnon, our Connor, and uh, our Hedman. Let's uh, let's go do it. Here we are, boys. He's got McKinnon, dry set of pasta. Pretty decent team here. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully get some upgrades for our X-Factor players. And um, let's just win, I guess, man. Let's go. 
Good poke from McKinnon. Marchand over to McKinnon. Oh, I need McKinnon to hit the net there, man. Okay, Mac to Marner. Mitch. Looking for something here. Hedman with another shot. That gets deflected. McKinnon. What a save from Hellbuck. Where is this puck? How is it not in the back of the net? Good poke from Bone Byram. Another great poke from Bone Byram. Take a shock of Chuck. Oh, I saw that. I saw the opening there. Just a good glove from Hellbuck. What a move from Jonesy. Carter Verhage. Good shot. I need Verhage to actually like change, man. He's been on for a long time. All right, McKinnon's back out here with Marner and Connor. Let's get some uh, get some goals here. Namak, right through the middle. Namak. Oh my God, Connor Hellbuck is just robbing us this game. There we go. McKinnon to Marner. Take a shot, Marner. Nice try. McKinnon, one last shot. No. All right. I, I'm not sure how this is still a 0-0 hockey game here, boys. End of two. It's 0-0. Looking at the stats, I, I, I'm honestly not sure how it's still a 0-0 hockey game, boys. Over to Hedman. Hedman, blast that. Oh, my God, dude. Nice try. Let's go, Marchand. Nice little LT over across to Panarin. And that's an Artemi Panarin goal, baby. Make that a 1-0 hockey game. We finally put one past Connor Hellbuck. Great play from Brad Marchand. Hedman getting an assist in his debut, I guess, with the new X Factor. Let's go, boys. Got a boy, Kyle Connor. Take a shot. Nice try. Oh, Connor couldn't pick that up. He still has it, though. Over across, Ricard Raquel. That's a save and a half, boys. Wow. Saucer to Sean Monaghan. Oh my god, nice try. Gonna be hard to upgrade Hedman, man. I feel like I don't get a lot of defensive goals. That hit off the post. Wow. Out of boy Pedersen. That's gotta be a goal. Wow. Victor Hedman. What a save, dude. Man, how this is only a one goal game is honestly just so beyond me, guys. Hedman. That got through. I, how many? I wanna see how many shots Hedman had this game because I've been just shooting it with him. Oh my, Vasilevsky, that rebound control was not great there. That's a goal. Okay, just like that, boys. It's a 1-1 hockey game. I have... I, oh my... No words. No words. When I'm dominating a hockey game like this and they just somehow, like, tie it up, it, it honestly just hurts my soul. Makes no sense to me. Raquel. Uh-huh. Dude, I, I, I can't believe this. Like, the chances I get, and I just get robbed on every chance, man. It's so annoying. He was about to score the same damn goal, because that's all this game is. Take it to the net, Mitch. Dude, how are we not scoring goals here? There you go, McKinnon. You're fine. Nate Mack, off the post. Oh, my God. I can't buy a goal in this game. We're going overtime somehow. I can't wait to look at these stats because I already know I'm dominating the hell out of this nerd. This is just so laughable. Look at the time on attack compared to his. Look at the shots compared to his. And it's a 1-1 hockey game. Ah. Marchand, I wish McKinnon drove to the front of the net there. I actually wish he did. Like, if he drove to the front of the net there, it probably would have been a goal. It's the same goal every year. That's a goal. Oh, Vasilevsky, dude, you are... I can't believe we lost that hockey game. I, I legitimately cannot believe we lost that hockey game. I'm actually so mad about that. That's a game I don't think we deserve to lose at all. We get any we, we barely get any rival points for that. Looking at the stats here, legitimately, boys, how, how do you tell me I lose this hockey game? I, 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 uh. Panarin gets an upgrade technically, but I think we have him fully upgraded. Uh, Hedman got an assist in his debut. Um... Uh, that, that last goal by Vasilevsky, man. I, I need a save there, man. It's not good. We complete some objectives here. Uh, I mean, coins are coins. We do need them now, especially trying to upgrade our X-Factors here. Um, yeah, I think Panarin's fully upgraded. He did score last game. I, I, I don't think he can get an upgrade. He's fully upgraded right now. Oh, no. All right, we can get Panarin up to an 89. That's something. Let me go make some power-up collectibles here, boys. So one good thing came out of that last game, Panarin scoring. Other than that, um, yeah, not, not much coming out of that. And just like that, Panarin's up to an 89. That was quick. We have him fully, fully upgraded. That is a huge upgrade there, man. 
Um, so that's good. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to put McKinnon onto the first line. Nothing against Pedersen. I, I kind of want to get McKinnon upgraded as much as he can. So first line minutes will help him out, man. If we can get him up... If we can get him up to an 81, that'd be huge because we can't afford to get him up to an 83 as of now. But uh, the, the lines are looking good. What extra synergy did we unlock with... Uh, oh, he's got well-rounded and applesauce activated for us right now. So that's good. All right. Um, let's head to the board, boys. There's nothing much else we can do right now. All right. Back at the board here. Rolling the dice for the second time. Uh, we already got a special pack, so I don't think we're going to get much luckier than that. We roll a three. What is that going to be? So a three is bankrupt. That, that, you know what? I'm okay with that. We only have just under 2,800 coins. I, I will 100% take that. We had way more coins before. All right, so ideally what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the auction house. We're going to find the cheapest thing on the market for the coins that I have right now. And uh, once that happens, then we, we get rid of our, our coins, man. So we got plenty of things. We're going to try to go for the lowest rated card here. Maybe if there's even like jerseys up for this price, that works out perfectly actually. So 2,800, do we have anything for... 2750 is the closest we'll get to it, so we'll pay 2750 for the Leafs logo, and we are pretty much bankrupt, boys. We have 29 coins. Um, yeah, tough scenes. Uh, let's just forget about that, head straight into another game, and try to make some more coins here. So the issue now is, if McKinnon scores, um, it takes how much to upgrade him? Uh, 1750 coins. We're not going to have that, so we're going to have to delay some of these upgrades. Which does kind of suck. Final game of the episode. Do change roof foot. This guy has a really good team. We need the max amount of goals. A win. So we can get into at least silver ranking before Rivals ends here. Let's go boys. Let's do it. Oh that gets through Jones. And Panarin scores. Making it a 1-0 hockey game. This game isn't going to be fun. Because this guy's got a good team. And he seems to be pretty good. I mean look at his team. All right, that's fine. Not a great first shift there for uh, McKinnon getting first line minutes, but we got Patterson now playing with Marner and Connor. Let's see what we can do here. There you go, Raquel. Good little move there. Nice little move out to the outside there. Ricard. To the point. Latang over to Muzzin. Oh, that's a good save. Who is that in net? I'm not even sure. Back to the point. Go back over across. Muzzin again with the deflection there. Couldn't get it to go though. There you go, Marchand. To the point. Get Victor Hedman a shot. Oh, boom, Byram. Oh, I thought I had the first pairing on. That's my bad. Still has that. Somehow that gets through. Oh my goodness, Connor McDavid makes it 2 0, and I'm having such a fun time right now. Let's go. There you go. Let's go, Mitch. Straight line, beautiful. Over to Pedersen. Uh, the, he has anti rant and that good to know that was a horrible shot by the way Kyle Connor makes it a 2-1 hockey game I don't know if Kyle Connor has one more upgrade, but it's a potential upgrade 2-1 hockey game We just got to play better here, man. I can definitely win this game McKinnon still has his puck take it around nice try Hornquist I need a puck pickup buddy Victor Hedman And we're giving up a breakaway that's fine. We're going to control the goalie. Vasilevsky. Oh my god. I am I am just I am just loving life. After 2, it's 3-1. I'm losing 3-1. Looking at the stats, do I deserve to be losing 3-1? No. Saucer pass over to Hedman. All right. Marner, instead of deflecting, it kind of just blocked it. There you go, Mitch. Take a shot. My team's just blocking their shots. What a save. From Ranta. Latang. Deflection. Marner. Oh my god. We like I literally cannot buy a goal this year. Uh-huh. What did I lose that puck on? Couldn't tell you guys. There you go. Kyle Connor. Bang. Kyle Connor. That's a second of the game. That's two upgrades. I know for sure he doesn't have two upgrades. Maybe one, but that's two upgrades for Kyle Connor. Things you'll have to see. Hedman gets an assist. Same with Patterson. We're we're behind by one again. Let's go. That, how many point shots have I taken with Hedman through these two games and haven't scored one? This guy takes one and it goes in. Ah, my God, my head hurts. Guys, guys, I'm losing this game 4-2. I have 8 minutes, 37 seconds. Time on attack to is 1 minute and 54 seconds. And I'm losing this game 4-2. 
Tell me this game isn't broken, please. I'm trying not to be like so negative and down about this episode, but when I when I'm playing games like this, it, it's so hard not to be, man. And I, and I apologize for that. This this probably isn't the greatest episode, boys. McKinnon, take it to the net, and that's a McKinnon upgrade. Four three hockey game, boys. I'm telling you guys, this guy, this guy's not good. I I need to win this game. Morally, I need to win this game. That's a McKinnon upgrade. I'm not gonna be sure. I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to upgrade him. But it is an upgrade him. It is an upgrade for him. I'm gonna jot that down so we know for the time uh, when we do have coins. I I can't talk. That's how frustrated I am right now. Brad Marchand to Jones. That's a save if I've ever seen one. Great save. Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand. Oh my God. What's with Ranta making these kick saves? That's a trip. Finally, buddy's been spamming poke all game. Fine by me. We get a power play. We need to convert on this. Like, absolutely need to convert on this. All right. I can't make a pass for the life of me. I'm, I'm actually, like, throwing this power play out the window. Oh, my. That almost slid in. Just go into the back of the net. Like, it's anti-Ranta. Come on, game. Realistically, come on. Bang. Hornquist. There it is. Patrick Hornquist. Let's go, boys. 4-4 hockey game. What did I say? We're winning this one. I, I don't care. We are winning this one. This kid does not deserve anything. Let's go, boys. Huge third line shift from Zabinajad and Hornquist there. Love to see it. Third line's buzzing right now. They're, they're absolutely feeling it after that last goal. All right, get the, get the second line out here. Get Hedman out here. Come on, boys. We're winning this game. It, it, we're not sending this to overtime. I'm sorry. There you go, Pedersen. Across the cut. Oh my god. I even sauced that. Oh my god. This is it. Game. Game over. Elias Pedersen calls game. Let's go. 5-4. Time to defend the lead. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh my. What did I say? This is not going to overtime. An assist from Connor and Hedman. 5-4 hockey game. I am absolutely amped right now. Let's go. We took a penalty. That's fine. 5.8 to go. Let's go. That's fine. Fine by me. I need a big face-off win here. I think that's Monaghan on the draw. Let's go. And that's game. What a comeback victory. I can't wait to look at the stats and show you guys how much I deserve this win. We are now in silver ranking, which is huge. Hopefully, we hold that for next week. Um, we completed more objectives here. Looking at our team. Kyle Connor gets two upgrades, so we got to jot that down. Let, remind me in the comment section below. Connor's due for two upgrades. Um, McKinnon is due for one upgrade as well. And Hedman, man, this guy's been good. We just need to, we need to get him some goals, but two assists there. That's really good. And looking at these stats, man, this guy should have never scored four goals. It should have never been a one-goal game, but regardless, a win's a win. Looking here, we completed an objective, which is 200 coins, which is absolutely huge. We need every kind of coin we can get right now. Looking here, Connor is fully upgraded, which is nice. So once he gets another upgrade, we uh, right away get an upgrade. And then when he gets another upgrade, we right away get an upgrade there too. Looking at McKinnon here, we can get him up to an 81. We need 1,700 coins, which we might be able to do actually. Uh, let me go quick sell some things, just some silver players and stuff. And uh, those are the only two guys that are due for upgrades right now. So here we go. We quick sold a bunch of jerseys and stuff. Not too shabby. So we are able to upgrade McKinnon to an 81, which is absolutely huge, actually, because uh, Lord knows a 79 McKinnon was good, but an 81 is going to be even better. So Nathan McKinnon is now up to an 81 overall after scoring last game, which is very nice to see. Other than that, that's all we can do for now, uh, but good stuff to see. We're happy to see that for Nate Mac. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's Monopoly HUD episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Again, sorry, guys. I, I feel bad. I felt like my mood for most of the video was just me being, like, really angry at the game. I apologize for it. The game does that to me a lot of the time, to be honest, so I, I'm sorry. But like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!